the guy who had this before me, or the chick that had this before me, rode the absolute <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, machines and machine freaks, I hope you're enjoying your day. We have mail today. You know what mail means? Well, actually it could mean a couple things. A couple bad things, really. Bills? Who wants, who wants those? No, we don't have bills. Well, we do, but <laughs> we got parts today. We have some bushings. We also have some ball joints. You know, after we took the ride with Jason, Seth, Danny, and his buddy, And just like Mr. Tim, a lot of you guys, after experiencing some entertainment by Crush, you go to machinemerch.com too. And get your shop on. Well, after, after that ride, Jason and I came back, we checked out some stuff. Started wiggling some stuff. Obviously, uh, Crush was up, so we could kind of, you know, wiggle stuff easier. And we found that the lower bulge, or the lower bushings on the lower control arm are just completely shot. The backs of the lower are really bad on both sides. So why not replace them all? So that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we bought. One of the hardest things to do when working with a vehicle is taking off the cotter pins. I got my breaker bar on here, and you can see this whole arm shifting. And if you watch that back part where that grease fitting is, you can see that that drops down. Now the lower ones are really bad, but we may as well, while we're in here, just do all of them. Do the upper one as well. Thanks, Jason, I'm still using it. It's awesome when I can shout out a machine freak for helping me with a job. This stuff smells fantastic. Now check out this upper control arm. There's like, there's no play at all. And it works exactly how it's supposed to. I, I really don't want to replace this because it's, it's not bad. But uh, those ones are way, way stronger than these ones, I guess. This, this lower control arm, you can just, you can hear it. It's not so much the front, it's the back pushing. And I'm sure it's like that on, on that side too. I can no longer put my left wrist at this point in time on a, on a hard bolt that can release quickly. I don't wanna risk that. Cause once that nut gives or that bolt gives, ah yeah, it hurts so bad. So I gotta go about this like a monkey. Like right now, it doesn't hurt at all. I'm doing the use it or you lose it slash don't use it, about 50-50. This lower one's loose. Unfortunately, I have to remove the skid plate in order to get the lower control arms off on both sides. Now if they didn't put that little plastic notch on the skid plate and this little notch on the front of the skid plate, I wouldn't even have to take it off. But since they did that, I'm ripping it off. I think the previous 
owner screwed up the threads on this nut because it's just not coming out. I have no idea what's going on there. It's not the welded nut back there, it's just the threads are shot on it. I managed to cut off the threads with this tool. Now I gotta drill out the remaining threads out of the nut. Here is the upper control arm. I had to do the lower control arm like that because the sway bar, the sway bar was not coming off. I don't have a pickle fork. I know, I need a pickle fork. I need multiple pickle forks. But anyways, I wanna check these out. I wanna see how they wore. They look totally different. The back was worn out more than the front. I'm sure a lot more torque goes to that. That's why. So with the front one, the bushings ride this pretty good. Oh yeah, this is just, it's just sloppy. It doesn't ride it nice at all. This one's not nearly as bad, but this must be the back back one. I'll clean these both up and then check out the new bushings. These are made in the USA. I forget what they're made out of. I don't think I see anything with the material it's made out of, but supposedly these are supposed to be self-lubricating. They're supposed to last longer than the steel ones. Yeah, I can see how they're self-lubricating. This just spins right on there. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Well, Danny stopped by and he's looking froggy fresh in his merch. We got the lower control arms all cleaned up with some paper towels and some brake cleaner. I just cleaned out throughout the control arm there. Now I'll take our final assembly and put that all back together. I'm gonna grease them even though that they say they don't need it. And then we'll work on this upper control arm. an experiment. Now I like experiments. That's the only thing, well, lunch, gym, and experiments were the only thing that I look forward to in school. If I were to do it again, I would, I would look at school a lot different and then just make myself happy throughout the entire time, but I can't go back in the past. So if you want to do that, do that because it's going to make school a lot more enjoyable. Anyways, as you saw on that side, the lower control arm had a lot of slop into it. The upper control arm had zilch. It had no play at all. Same with on this side, if I lift this up and I go to wiggle it, the top on this one is so bulletproof too. However, the bottom on this side is a little less sloppy, but it's still sloppy. So my experiment is going to be putting those heavy duty plastic bushings on that side for the upper control arm, but for the upper control arm on the driver side, we're gonna keep the metal ones and see which ones last longer. Granted, if these are the originals, these have 2,700 miles on them. So what do you think? What's gonna last longer? The victim side, I mean the passenger side, or the driver side? Hey you guys, I really, really hate to do this to you, but I gotta stop right now. Now here's the problem with the lower control arm on this side. That's the old bushing. That bushing is no good. And there are the three remaining bushings. It appears that Crush and I have a slight problem. And that slight problem is the fact that these spacers are, are shot. Uh, this one's cracked in two spots on the top. You can see a hairline crack right there, and then if I rotate it, there's a second one right there. Then on this end, I believe there was one. No, the other side is intact, but this one, however, has a hairline crack in it as well. Yeah, it's just starting, just starting. You can just barely see it, but that's cracked. Which means the front end is really broken. The guy who had this before me, or the chick that had this before me, rode the absolute snot out of it. I appreciate how much they wrote this thing within a year and a half. It's a 2016, it's only 2018, do the math. 
I gotta go because I don't see my girlfriend very often. She's out here now. I already missed the pizza party that her parents were hosting or her family was hosting. So you guys are a priority, remember that. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you wouldn't mind, smash the hell out of that like button. Until next time, we'll be working on those ball joints. 3D Machines out.